a deadly disease affecting deer populations across the country, including deer in state close to Alabama. So it's called chronic wasting disease, but some are referring to it as zombie deer disease. Yes, zombie deer disease. That's new for us. The CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gasky in studio now with details about this disease. Connie? Hey guys, the condition affects the brains of the deer and it's always fatal. The good news is, however, it has not shown up in Alabama yet. Wildlife officials here want to make sure they keep it that way. Again, it's called chronic wasting disease or CWD. It can cause deer to walk in circles, wander aimlessly, or even act tame toward humans. It's been reported in more than 20 states, including Mississippi and Tennessee, but wildlife officials are working hard to prevent it from coming to Alabama. So if you see a deer that shows any of the symptoms I just mentioned, report it to DCNR. We want any sick deer throughout the state to be reported so that we can potentially test it for chronic wasting disease or to decide how else the deer has been affected, whether it's been hit by a car or suffering from a variety of other more common and less harmful deer illnesses that, again, cause some of the same symptoms. And you can report it to them on their website, OutdoorAlabama.com. I have more on what DCNR is doing to prevent this disease from spreading coming up at 630. But first, coming up at 6, more advice for deer hunters in on ways that they can help to to uh, prevent the spread of CWD here in the state of Alabama. Guys, back to you.